going to make our way through a small jungle, and we're going to watch the Klingons kill the security team, because, Jesus, they're not doing very well. Oh, wow. Wait, those are the Klingons. All right. Carry on, security team. You're doing quite well. Bubble juice. Oh. I believe around the tail end here is somebody else to resuscitate. Rescus res rescuscitate? No, there isn't. Eh. Looks okay. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, the valiant Starfleet security team protecting the injured person and whoever this is who's cowering over here. So how come we're beaming them up, but not everyone else? There's a, there's a colonist here who's afraid for her life. She's shaking, the poor lady. Why aren't we saving everyone else? What's going on? What are you doing up there, now? Alright. Again, refuse to fire, secondary. That's right, it's refusing. It's mutinying against me. The control interface. That's what it is. Hello, Namo. almost all of the explosive charges, but I'm not sure if that's all of that of the colonists. I'm pretty sure there's more. There's more. I didn't see any. There we go. Heal thyself. Well, I'll do it for you. Thank you, Vice Admiral. This guy's just sort of here, like what? I'm here. I'm I, I'm I'm a civilian. I'm at risk. Why aren't I being evacuated? And I'm just shaking my head, like I don't know, man. I don't know. Starfleet pays me to kill Klingons. Well, actually, they don't even pay me really. No such thing as money. Just energy credits. That doesn't even make sense. I think someone asked, like, God, forever and a day ago, I was going to answer questions in Star Trek Online, and then my computer decided to have all kinds of fucking heating issues. Or cooling issues. It had plenty of heat. Didn't have a problem with heat. Had a problem getting rid of it. But, um... One of the questions was, how the fuck does the economy in Star Trek work? I don't know. It's never really explained. One would is they've mentioned energy credits. One would assume that there everyone has like a sort of allotment of replicator rations. Hey, Raven, nice of you to join us. And um, yeah, it's never really explained. They don't have money. They don't have they don't have money in the strictest sense. They do have something else, but it's kind of all over the place. They never really talk about it. Uh, they talk about buying stuff all the time in the books. Oh, oh, Jesus. Get rid of the triple before it spawns. It will survive in the wild. You know, I haven't pet my triple either. Someone needs to remind me of these things.
I think Pran just insulted that guy's mother. Eh. <laughs> that was the wimpiest drop kick ever. <laughs> I'll harm you! Okay. Uh. So yeah, I'm just gonna start triggering the uh, secondary fire with the two key from now on because that seems to that works reliably. Clicking on it doesn't. A lot of people have been complaining about the lag on the forums. I haven't noticed too much server lag. Just the same kind of impo input lag that I've been getting. It's probably just me, because I haven't been uh, hearing of a lot of other people. And there's two people here. Oh no. But I am reviving you anyways. No! She derezzed! God damn it, it never gets easier. Okay, I'm not sure if that's everyone. I said I'd try, didn't say I would. Although, might as well, might as, might as well. Because we're not coming back to this map again, so I might as well take a, oh, hello. Hello. Isn't someone else over here? Figured I was missing someone. Of course you can make it. You're about to be beamed up to the ship. I'd be shocked if you couldn't make it after you'd been beamed to safety. Something over there? Water. Water something. They are an Orion! They're cool. Oh my god, is that like alien Legolas? Kind of is. Holy shit! It's a green Orlando Bloom! And he's cowering in terror. Of nothing! Because I killed everything. I've killed everything on the surface. Why couldn't the security teams do that? I mean, I know it's the fucking hazard team, you know. But why couldn't the security teams? Fuck it, I don't know. I think that's everyone. I figured I was missing someone. I didn't, I didn't remember where they were, though. I'm pretty sure that's everyone. A lot of flowers by the embassy. Groundskeeper does a good job. So, let us see. Uh, oh, shit. What the hell? Raven has stopped to look at this. Oh, hi, Raven! Where the fuck were you? I know the place looks pretty, but Jesus! Focus! What do you recommend we do now? Vice Admiral, my tricorder shows no more spatial charges in the surrounding area. I'll stay here and help with the relief efforts. Just before you beam down, the leader of the Klingons, Captain Tukirk, entered the embassy and took the Federation diplomatic team hostage. He says he is waiting for a worthy adversary. I think that's you, Vice Admiral. Alright. Well, let's go find this Tukirk and kick his ass and take his lunch money. Because I'm pretty sure the Klingons have some kind of currency. And I intend to go to Deep Space Nine or Ganalda and buy some fucking lunch with it, so ha. Huh. Oh wait, I can't go to Ganalda. It's in Pycanus. 
they haven't done that yet. Okay, whatever. I guess I won't be eating in Ginalda. I heard they had good Italian there, but whatever. Sir, ship scanners indicate four Federation diplomats inside. They appear to be guarded by numerous Klingons. I re Really? I recommend you defeat all Klingon guards near a diplomat before beaming them up to avoid any unfortunate transport or mishaps. We wouldn't want to rescue the Klingons by mistake. Now, we're... It's a Galaxy-class starship. Only the best of the best serve on the Galaxy-class. And it has some of the most advanced technology in Starfleet. I'm... And they're tagged. They're wearing comm badges. Scan for the Federation comm signatures. Oh, hi there, Orion's there. Oh, hi, Orion's! You're dead. Someone there is shooting at me, and I do not like being shot at. They're dead, okay. I just thought I heard somebody beaming in to attack me. <laughs> it's a Mass Effect shotgun all over again. Not really. You'd think so from listening to people complain. No idea what a broken shotgun is. Play Mass Effect. That's a fucking broken shotgun. You want a broken shotgun, Mass Effect's fucking got you covered. Go home. Go home. The hazard team has this handled. He's just sort of poking it. He isn't really opening it. Oh no, Orions! What shall we do? I will kick you! Holy shit, 8 of 8. <laughs> that was 8 of 8. Stealing my goddamn thunder. <laughs> so, that's a Dahar Master. You must be to Kirk! To Kirk, to Kirk, to Copycat, to New Guy. That's right. You and me. Come on. That's right, that's right. Stay out of this. This is mine. A scrap bitch. There's another one right over there. I want to open these two things first. Rokeeg blood pie. Thing on guck. That was actually um. That's actually the subject of a joke in the in the books. Should I should I explain that joke? Nah, nah. Let well, me read the books. Captain, sensors indicate several Klingon ships in the area. There also may be additional ships cloaked in the area. This could be a full-scale invasion fleet, sir. Transporters are standing by at your command. Let's take us up. But yeah, it was. It, it, it was a reference. There was a there's a reference in the Star Trek A Time Two books to something that happened during season two of TNG when Riker is uh, is on board a Klingon ship as sort of a 
during sort of an exchange program thing. And uh, watching that episode after reading A Time 2 is hilarious. Not A Time 2. A Time 2 is nothing is anything but hilarious, but that episode's funny. Cats and DP. Klingon ships are decloaking and locking weapons. Okay, and then what? Oh. There's another one. Oh, it's a raptor. Raptors need to die. God, I remember these things. Playing through the game for the first time, these things took way too long to die. They would not die, no matter how hard I laid into them. But now you're gonna die, motherfucker. You're going to pop, and you're going to like it. Sir, we're being hailed by the Klingon ship. Transferring the view screen now. Ambassador Koss. Ambassador Koss. Ambassador Koss! You fight well, Vice Admiral. Not as well as a Klingon. We have no equals in battle. You see how many I just killed? I am Ambassador Koss of the Klingon Empire. I wish to meet with the Kuva Mach on Regulus. However, another of my empire's ambassadors, Bavat, leads a noble house that is the enemy of my family. Bavat has used this opportunity to plot my death. He is behind the attack on your diplomats, and he will pay for his dishonorable treachery with blood. Oh, so that's the Klingon currency. Bavat travels here from Kronos in his flagship. He will be here any second, Vice Admiral, and we will fight him together. Kapla! Oh, there he is. He's punctual. Bavat, 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 Bavat. You motherfucker. It seems you have won this time, Vice Admiral DP. But there will be no peace between the Klingon Empire and your Federation. So who is the real victor here? No one? Our fight is just beginning, Vice Admiral. I look forward to our next meeting. Uh, asshole, we're both being infiltrated by Undine. You know, they are going to come and slaughter us all. Nobody's fucking winning here! We need to band together. Or you could just warn like a pussy. It appears Bavat has fled, Captain. At least we were able to unravel his plot and save Lieutenant Paris. She's apparently more important to the Klingon Empire than she realizes. Leave the system. The Klingons have a saying, only a fool fights in a burning house. Bavet, you are an idiot. Let's see. He actually has he actually has not really very, but somewhat complex motivations, which we'll discover as time goes by. Well, we'll discover it. People who've played Wing Commander 4 will not. The Kuvamach. Let's turn this in. Lieutenant Paris is reviled by some Klingons and practically worshipped by others. It's a difficult situation, but she does the best she can. I'm glad you were there to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you shapeshift already so I can just shoot you? You're not fooling me. You're not fooling me, Quinn. I know it's you. Ooh, something green. Aldebaran whiskey. Get rid of some of this shit that I'm not going to need. Ta -ta -ta. I'll have to add this to my booze collection in my bank.
How much does it restore? 64% hit points over 3.5 seconds. And uh, let's go ahead and give Lima the, this. Oh, she's full up, so what about 8? She's full up, so what about Pran? Oh, he has, he's using mediums. You're using smalls, though. There we go. So yeah, there it that is the Kuva Mach mission. It introduces Miral Paris, who isn't a major character on Voyager, but she is a major art part of the final arcs of Voyager. Of the ending of Miral Paris has to do a lot with the uh ultimate with the final character development. Uh Belana Torres and Tom Paris. Those two characters undergo in the tail end of Voyager. She's a major part of that. Uh, we never really see the character herself until in adult form until endgame, and that's sort of an alternate future kind of deal. That's a whole that's a whole can of worms all of its own. Uh, but yeah. That was the Kuva Mach, and I will see you guys later. So later.